create table as. Now, Teza makes it so easy to say, well, I have a current table here. I want to create the table as this one but I want to order the data. You see, when you load to Natiza, you pick a distribution key, and that's really the only big decision you make. It loads that data. But then, afterwards, you might have queries where if the data was ordered on each extent better, well, the min-max value for each column in an extent would be better ordered. So here, as you can see, we're going to create another table. It's create table as this other table, but now, I want you to order this in a different way. There's two tables now, the old one and the new one. And you can delete the old one, rename this one back to that. That's a very clever way to do some very nice performance tuning to take advantage of your min-max in your zone maps. Take a look at this. This is a beautiful example. We have ordered by the month of order date. And now all the January data is in the first extent. The February data is in the second extent. So of course those zone maps are on each extent. So when a user writes a query and says, you know, I want to see what happened in January. Then each zone map is first read in on the FPGA card. And they don't even consider reading that February data because they know the min and max of that was February 1st to February 28th or the 29th if it's leap year. And so there's no need to read that if you're looking for January data. What a brilliant way to cut down on moving blocks into memory that are unnecessary. You're becoming an expert at this because you're taking a look at this table and you say, you know what, there's been two tables created. They probably both have a distribution key. You understand the TISA. One of them is much bigger because it's opened a lot more extents. And that is our order table. It's got a ton of extents. As each one fills up, it's time to grow. And the TISA does this without any database administration intervention whatsoever. Of course, our customer table is much smaller and it's only taken up one extent. That's the way the is gonna work. It's gonna grow without any user or DBA intervention. Holy moly, we are going to have to do a full table scan here. Extent 1, Extent 2, Extent 3 on every single SPOO will be read simultaneously. That is why Natiza is able to analyze so much data when you ask it to because of the parallelism and because of the beautiful extents moving into memory as fast as possible. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information.